Alright, we got a little job going today. We've got the mud demon out. We got some one inch, one inch to three quarter inch rock. For you naysayers for the two and a half inch hose. You bet. This is a good example of this machine and the benefits of it. We don't have hardly any room at all here. There's so much construction stuff around. We just back this little darling right back here. Truck comes to us. We're not taking up any room hardly. And we're up, up and away. So got about 16 yards we're doing here of spreader footings. Then we'll come back, pump the walls, and we'll come back, pump a floor in this thing. But no, this is a... Good little, good little job for the mud demon. It's uh, definitely in its element for sure. So, rocking along here. We're gonna bring it over here. Spreader footings. And then like I said, we'll come back in a week and we'll pump the walls and then come back in a few days after that and we'll put a floor in this little baby, baby doll. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, we're getting that one inch rock through that two and a half inch hose fairly well. I don't want to brag too soon. You can always get something hung up in there, but, but yeah. Hammering away at 50%. So I can kick it to 80 to 100, but you get a lot of hose reaction. I mean, it's this this thing's got some it's got some mule kick to it. I'll tell you that. So I like it when the doubters leave comments. I can prove you wrong every time. The only thing that I'm that you're, you're going to get me on is just volume. This is a 30 yard an hour pump, but other than that, you're You're not, you're not gonna be able to go there. Your buggy guys can't go there. It's just, just the way it is. Sorry. Good job. The mud, the mud's going good. Have to pat Josh on the back when you get back for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I did, those concrete dispatchers, they take a beating, and I'm, I'm guilty of it too. But when they do good, it is always good practice to throw them some bones, you know, to pat them on the back, tell them, thank you, man, that was that was smooth. And I'll send Josh a text and tell him, hey, this is a, this is a good mud. I really appreciate it, because it just, you're only as good as the concrete they bring you. So, don't forget that. We started truck number two. They're getting it vibrated down and getting it all on gray. We'll 
we'll get that stopped in a minute. We'll bring the hose back around over here, finish this footing here, and, and get all this corner here knocked out. So. Stop the pump right there. See where we're at. Checking the level. We'll give them a shot or two. I'm giving the universal signal to stop. by the scoops. fingers and her toes hoping we got one more yard to finish this up safe area, got covered with some plastic.
pressure off of it. about 10 psi or so so we'll see how that works out should be getting close let's go back here Feels good. Twenty five feet. I'm going to put my foot on. Should be getting close. Perfection. Perfection. it a lot. Down. We're going to load some hose, load the machine, and we're going to run this actually back to my house. I'm not cleaned up by their shop. I'm going to shop there. I got some ruts I need to fill in anyway, so that'll be good for that. So, all right, I'll haunt y'all in a minute.